Sometimes I like to let my hair dangle. Makes me feel ultimately pretty before I do my set. Cause it's all about being pretty, right? You guys haven't got that from this channel so far. I don't know what you're getting out of this, but you're not getting good info, that's for sure. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Line Bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the supplement industry and YouTube and Instagram or, or whatever and why I don't usually work with supplement companies. The reason why I don't. It's not because I don't believe that supplements are useful. I do use supplements from time to time. So if you have not watched my supplements that I use video, go take a look. And I also talk about three cheap supplements you can use to help stabilize your blood sugar. So check that out as well. So I do believe that there is some benefit to supplements but one thing I will say is that bodybuilding supplements always felt to me like they're not the entire picture to health, although there's some pieces there. So I do believe that creatine can be a useful supplement or, and whey protein's a useful supplement. I do use whey protein all the time. I have protein shakes with some blueberries in there and some kale and maybe some uh, collagen or whatever and then I mix that up and then bang, you know, that's, that's a meal. So I do use supplements from time to time, but I'm not convinced that they are the entire foundation for health, although they can be useful for gaining some muscle, assuming all the other elements are in place. You know gorillas get big eating bananas and nothing but vegetables and shit so they're pretty huge but one thing people don't realize is that they eat hundreds and hundreds of pounds of food in a day and they also eat their own shit. <coughs> so be my guest if you think bananas are enough for you. Now, the other reason why I don't usually work with supplement companies is that I've been approached by a lot of them. First of all, if you're gonna approach somebody, you have to understand, like as a company, you have to honor the work that a person has put into their marketing and into their brand. And at the same time, have a decent quality product because that's the other thing. Most of these companies are coming to me with horrible products. And if they watched even two or three of my videos, they'd know that I don't believe in those products that they're trying to market to me. So most importantly, they're putting artificial products in their, in their supplements and if they knew anything about me whatsoever, they know that that's not what I want to promote. And lastly, if I don't love the product and I'm not already using this product or can see where I would take money out of my own pocket in order to buy it, why would I promote it and destroy my credibility on my channel? Because the whole reason why you guys watch is because there's some sort of trust that we have here. You know that I'm not gonna screw you over and therefore you can trust the advice that I'm giving you is the best that I know how to give Maybe, maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong, but at least it's the best that I know how to give and it's based on my own experience. Shitty cameraman karma, that's, that's really what I'm overcoming today. It's like a dark cloud in the room right now. I'll make up for it today. Yeah, Anthony's just sitting here just, just oozing. Just a shit cloud of bad spiritual energy. It's messing me up. It's totally killing my workout motivation. Yeah, that's why you're using those light weights, eh? I was about 40 pounds heavier and 5% body fat leaner before he showed up today. <laughs> And now it's all falling apart. Just Don't hang out with shitty cameraman. That's, that's all I can say. Don't hang out with him. You're seeing me through the eyes of the camera of how he sees me. That's why I look so shitty right now. Because otherwise I, I, I'd be like an angel. So there'd be light and halos and shit around me and whatever. But you're seeing me exactly the way Anthony sees me. And that's why I look like crap right now. So don't blame it on me. Blame it on the cameraman. A lot of the supplement companies that are out there, they're just looking to take advantage of people. I had the one company down in the States that was trying to ask me to do a shout out for the thing. And I'm like, well, uh, produce all the results where you did testing on your stuff. I wanna see those results. I wanna make sure that it's actually a real product. I wanna make sure that what you're saying on the label is actually in the bottle, right? So not only do people try to lowball you <laughs> and basically pay you nothing, but a lot of times what was happening is that people were trying to fling horrible products to me and say, yeah, get your people to buy this stuff. Like, why would I do that? You know what I mean? So 
in order for me to have confidence with selling anything to you, I have to want it myself and use it myself 100% and believe that there's some intelligence in that and some benefit. There's no freaking way that I'm interested in supporting any supplement company that's just coming to me and saying, hey, fling our protein powder, but we're gonna put a bunch of shit in there and, but at least we're gonna make a couple bucks off your people and poison them the same pro and poison them at the same time. You know? So finally though, assuming that a company has really got good integrity and they come to me with a product that's half decent, I've always felt that there's a missing link when it comes down to the bodybuilding supplement companies where I wasn't interested in getting into this whole bodybuilding supplement flinging thing because it felt like it wasn't taking care of the elephant in the room and that's the health of the individual. What I'm saying is it doesn't make sense for me to promote a product that's just taking advantage of a fad that's in the marketplace where people are like, oh, this is the next thing, this is the next best thing, this is the next best thing. Meanwhile, it's not really taking care of the overall nutritional issue with the physical body and the overwhelming lack of physical health that most of us experience. We get injuries, we get joint pains, we get digestive issues, we get all these types of things. These things are the biggest impediment to your bodybuilding journey, right? And it's only when these things are taken care of that then supplements like creatine and protein, all this kind of stuff really matter. But if your health is not good enough that you can train, then how in the hell are these supplements gonna help you, right? You're gonna have a lot of energy to move muscle, but you don't have the joints to be able to support those muscles and you know, you, you just got too much pain. So, so this is the main reason why I don't rep supplement companies is because they either come to me with a product that's horrible, or they come to me with a product that's using artificial stuff, or they come to me with a product that they're wanting to pay 50 cents on uh, the thousands of dollars of promotion in order to basically get free promotion. This is another thing that I want to talk about is that the bodybuilding industry and fitness industry has been horrible for taking advantage of athletes. The cover of Muscle and Fitness magazine in the 80s and 90s only paid $200. So if you were a fitness model looking to get on a cover magazine, you made $200 to be on a cover magazine and then they would say, oh, at least you got lots of promotion. But you can't pay your rent with promotion especially if you don't have a product or service that you are selling at the time, right? So a lot of these professional athletes didn't have their own business, they didn't have their own training programs, they didn't have their own website or something like that. They basically were forced to use that promotion to try to get another magazine cover or something like that and hopefully get a contract with a company. But in the end, the fitness magazine industry was taking advantage of them by paying them next to nothing where meanwhile a fashion model was getting thousands upon thousands of dollars to be on the front cover of a magazine. So, yeah, the fitness industry has not been good to the fitness people, so I think that a lot of companies out there are assuming that they can take advantage of fitness people in the industry, and that's why I don't really play that game. You know, if I'm gonna be in relationship with a company, it's gonna be because I believe in it, and also because it produces results in me first and foremost, so it's kind of a selfish sort of thing. And then from there, I share those results with people who are watching this channel. But it's not because, hey, somebody came along and just offered me enough money for a video, and then just put it up. Like, what's the point, right? It's like. You know, your word is, is more important than, uh, you know, some sort of income short term that, you know, what's that going to do, right? It's going to do nothing. One of the reasons why I'm bringing this up as well is because I have been approached by a company that seems pretty credible lately, and I'm not sure if I will do something with them or not, but I do believe in the premise of what they're doing. So we'll see what happens. But either way, know that if I ever promote anything on this channel, I'm going to make sure that I stand behind it as well as back it up. I'm not, I'm not going to just basically try to steer you down something so that way I make a couple dollars and then you know you're not necessarily getting the benefit from good advice or something like that. So yeah so anyway just want to make sure you know we're on the same page here you know mountain. A lot of geese around here. A lot of geese shit. They, they, they poo in the water there too. The water looks pretty good but you don't want to swim in that. A lot of bad things in that water. I'm kind of scared of having my back to it to tell you the truth. Can I get